Hello, my name's Gavin Bassini, Lama Lama traditional owner from uh, Port Stewart, uh, Yajinga, uh, and our lands started Silver Plains in the north on the Massey River to the Normby River in the south uh, and take in all of Princess Charlotte Bay. So we're on the east coast of Cape York, Australia. And it's still known today with the traditional name as Yinjinga. But the majority of us, we live and work out on country um, at Port Stewart on the east coast of Cape York. Um, and that's our home. And that's where our, our lady got taken from. Hello, my name is Karen Lee. I'm also a traditional owner of Yinjinka. You know, I'm happy and proud that she's coming back, but I'm also angry because the person who took her from us is wrong and that was so disrespectful. I'm sure you wouldn't see me going into somebody's home and stealing, you know, the remains of their ancestors. It's not a resting place wherever she is in Germany because her spirit is still there. She's sad. She's lonely, you know, she was taken from her family. I think the day when she does arrive, it'll be more, probably more tears once she arrived and her family will be waiting at the airport for her. It'll be a proud moment for all Lam Lama people to meet and greet her at the airport and just take her back home to her resting place. Hello, my name is Peter Liddy. I'm a Lam Lama traditional owner. Um, we're situated in the Prince of Charlotte Bay area, our homeland. Um, well, sort of felt about feeling sad that someone took it away and happy that we get a return to her own home. And to taken away from your home, it's just like a baby take taken off his mother, you know, and Yinjinga is the mother for us, our home. I'm glad she's coming back after all those years, but yeah, happy and sad and angry at the same time for this family of ours coming back might be my great grandmother, my my grandmother, my sister. Akura, Atuna, Yinjinga. That's you me home. Glad for you to return. My name is Keith Liddy, elder from Fort Chut. In the own home, yeah, they, they got a bear in their own home. If they take another man's place, they big fight for that. Mm. If you, they take him home, not another man's place, they can't take him. They got to bring him back right place, right back. Pretty they got to come back right, like he right there where home. Them family, you know, one day when they're home, they won't get sick, then all people look up to them. You know? Yeah, we want him back. We want that as long as he come back home, you know. If we, they bring him back home, well, we'll be right and glad. Yes, he come back. Young Akurumbuna, young kill. He come like home, you know. I got a new number. I got a new number. I say another man plays it tough. I got a new number. And the kids see all that as well. Um, you know, they know that old people here before us, and you know, there's proof to them that you know when we talk about the oldies and the ancestors. Well, there you go. You know, 1907. You know, right at the turn of the century, 
You know, we all know Captain Cook's story, he came to Cook down in 1770, uh, but you, know, you don't hear these sort of stories where our ancestors have been taken over there. We're still here, you know, we still live on the same country. You know, we're still there, we still fish there, we still hunt there. You know, all our kids are down here, you know, we're here on the Junior Ranger camp now. And um, yeah, everything that she did, we're still doing. And, and I think, you know, for her to leave here in 1907, and then the comeback in 2017 is quite amazing. And, you know, thanks to the people over there for looking after her. But now it's time for her to come back here.